Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake with me, Jerupidus. And we are in the middle of escaping the parking garage. Uh, Ada saved us from the tyrant who came through the wall to uh, kind of kill us. <laughs> and she crashed the SWAT truck into it and it exploded. So he is down for now. Now, with regard to that last section, I just can't stop thinking about it because it's so great. But I can't help but wonder if I wouldn't have preferred a Resident Evil 3 Nemesis-style sort of risk-reward situation, where in that game, you can either choose to fight Nemesis and get a reward from standing your ground, or you can run away and he will chase you for a while, but not forever. Either way, it was really fantastic, and I really enjoyed it. It's really stayed with me. I can't stop thinking about it, but let's get out of this parking garage right now. I feel like we've been down here quite long enough. And Ada's gonna go ahead and listen to that tape we gave her. And hopefully she can shed some light on it. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Oh, it's Gun Shop Kendo. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, man. I am just absolutely loving this. Like, coming to these familiar areas, but seeing them rendered this way is just absolutely incredible. Roads out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Of course it is. Let's go. Looks like Ada's a master of unlocking as well. What a mess. I can imagine a lot of people chose this as the first place they would come. Uh, in the event of a disaster. Ooh, the long barrel for the shotgun. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and combine this. But this is a custom part for the W870 that ups its max capacity to 8. Greater muscle velocity and less spread make each shot more powerful. So it makes our shotgun more good. Which I like, but this is why I thought um, that it took up two slots, I think. But either way, let's go ahead and put our healing items down here. Just get organized real quick. We are pretty light on handgun ammo, but I think that's okay for now. Yeah, look at that. That's a proper shotgun right there. And there are, of course, plenty of armaments in here. Which makes a lot of sense. It is a gun shop after all. Ooh, what do we got here? Letter to the shopkeeper. Kendo, it seems like you've got your reasons for staying put, so I'll trust you to take care of yourself. Still, if things get worse and your other arrangements don't work out, you know where to find me. I'll do everything I can from Jill Valentine. How cool is that? Now, that's something that wasn't originally in this, but they put it in after the release of the Resident Evil 3 remake, which I have some thoughts about, but we'll stick to this game for the most part. 11 bullets, still not very many. But let's see what we can find in here. Don't move. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you on. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate? It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy? Things 
what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Just go. Just give us some privacy. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Wow, Kendo's voice actor does such a great job, and what a cool piece of emotional grounding for everything that we're doing here. Oh man, this is so well done. All right, let's get a move on. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. That does explain it, indeed. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. So now we have a uh, sort of target, which would be Annette Birkin. However, I'm guessing that that's not all there is to the story. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll go first. Into this terrifying sewer. I can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. So all of this is Umbrella's fault. And that's who we're here to take down. Jesus! That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. Somehow I doubt it's an earthquake. <laughs> I think we know what that is. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Ooh, the box is here. Let's hit it. I probably don't need this first aid spray, so let's put that away. And I think we're pretty good on everything else, although I do have quite a bit of gunpowder. And maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to make a few handgun bullets. I'm kind of feeling like that makes sense, so let's go ahead and do it. And uh, I cut it out, but there were a couple of handgun bullets in this back hallway here, so I ran and grabbed those because I do want to have as many handgun bullets on me as possible. Not a huge deal. I just didn't really want to backtrack too much on camera. Let's get to this. Did I see something here? 
No, okay. Oh, man. Doesn't look like I can get through here. It's so dark. All right, more handgun bullets. That's great. Again? It's not too late to turn back, Leon. No <laughs> chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Yeah, Leon is not the turning back type, no matter how much sense it makes. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. Son of a bitch. That's right, Leon. You tell him. Now, um, one of the really interesting things about that scene is the developers had a lot of trouble with how to include it, but make it feel modern, and I think that was just fantastic. Leon, up here. What the hell was? Just get up here. Let's get out of here. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. You should be impressed. That was insane. <laughs> much, much more intense than the original scene, I would say. Do I gotta hit the button? No? Okay. So let me get this straight. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Can you imagine Annette being more dangerous than a gigantic alligator? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was something for sure. Anything in here? Nope. All right, let's keep going. Another save room. Okay. Do I want to use that? I think I'm fine. I think I'm ready to handle whatever challenges this game may throw at me. Definitely William's handiwork. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. Huh. That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Stop! Ada! Ah! Didn't expect that from a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh.
I'm right outside the facility, in pursuit of Annette. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for extraction. You can run, Annette, but you can't hide. Oh, I remember this scene so well where Leon gets injured and then we get to play as Ada from the original and I told you the red dress was coming. Oh, man. Now, this section, I would argue, is a little bit weaker as compared to basically everything else that came before. Uh, but you'll see that in just a minute here. The EMF Visualizer. So use the EMF Visualizer to track wiring and hack electronic equipment. It's secret weapon time. So we're going to use this sort of little uh, spy gadget. It's going to show us the path of wiring. And then we can use right trigger to sort of activate things. I guess. <laughs> And then we're going to use this to overload the fan and make it go curse floaty. There we go. And so that kind of puzzle solving is what we're going to be doing for this section. Candy from a baby. But I always find the sections in Resident Evil games where you play as another character, they do it in every single one pretty much, uh, to not be the strongest. Look at all these disgusting cockroaches. Get me out of here. That being said, I do find this to be a little bit fun. It could definitely have been worse. Okay. Let's take this guy out. That looks pretty good to me. And let's check out this note. September inspection week one. I already put in a request last week, but we absolutely must have a replacement ID wristband ASAP. We need one to gain access to certain areas of the main facility. In other words, me and my crew can't get to the places we need to in order to do our job right now, so I don't want to hear anyone accusing us of slacking off. So we're probably going to want to get our hands on that ID wristband, uh, but let's keep going. So let's see here. I got to get this door unlocked. Here we go. Now let's see, what do we got here? Some handgun bullets, I will probably need those. However, I'm guessing that this area is not gonna be something that I want to spend a ton of bullets on. So we're gonna do our best to not use too many. And I'm already hearing, yep, a guy right there. So let's figure out where this uh, power panel goes. And it goes right towards him, of course. <laughs> so let's see. I guess I could knock him down. And that's probably what I'll want to do in here, I think. Right, looks like it's that way. Uh, can I get around this way? I can. Okay. Yep, this looks like the way I want to be going. And there's a guy over there. Oh, I hate that. Can I go this way? And, like, not buy him at all? Uh-oh. All right. We got to figure out where this thing is as fast as we can. All right, there it is. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, I was hoping there would be a shortcut back, but there is not. But I do see a flash grenade, and that could come in handy. Let's see here. Oh, he's just a crawler? Okay, that's not too bad at all. 
I can get past this one for sure. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> Being under-equipped in here with a lot of zombies is not ideal. Let's get out of here. I want to go. I want to go right now. <laughs> Ooh, there goes a net. <laughs> Got you now. Let's get after her. Always been good at running, Annette. Give you that. Now it took me a few times through this to figure out what I'm even supposed to do here. Um, and I end up being under a little bit of duress. And that would be why. <laughs> bastard, aren't you? Now, the panel is here. But what I kept doing wrong was flicking the uh, thing above it again. But now I know how to get the door open, which is nice. And he's still coming. Uh, there's a ventilation fan here. Can't do it yet. So we're gonna have to kind of, like, have him circle around this until we figure out where the thing is. So it appears to be on the left there. But I gotta tell you, this is a big old pain. Oh, I get it. That feels pretty good. All right. I'm getting a bit better at this. Does this mean I can get through? Perfect. <laughs> I think we should be safe for now. Now, where have I even ended up? Man. They really hem you in here with him. It's nuts. Oh, cool. A save point. I think this is a good time to take a break. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.